Welcome to How Not to Souls, J. Ron here, and today we are looking at a strength intelligence build from Dark Souls 2, and it was a pretty, pretty alright build. Nothing to really write home about, but I say it's worth playing, and the basic idea of it is a strength build, which you're buffing to do more damage with your strength-based weapons. Pretty overall, like I said, it's not bad. Let's take a look at our stats, and then our equipment and whatnot, and then... We'll get a better idea of how we feel about it. So at 197, 35 vigor and 35 endurance. So we have like a, a moderate amount, of like above average. I wouldn't say anything. We're not riding a crazy amount of health or anything like that. 18 vitality to wear the things we want to wear. 20 attunement so we can have the spell slots we need to cast the buffs we want. And like the minor other spells that we used. Which wasn't many, but we used a couple of different spells outside of uh, Crystal Weapon and Great Magic Weapon. 50 Strength for our obvious strength side of things. 18 Dex for weapon requirements. 20 Adaptability to get them uh, decent rolls. 53 Intelligence for our intelligence-based attacks and buffs. And the plus three, I think, is coming off our Staff of Wisdom. And the Seventh Faith, which is base. Now, for our equipment... I really fell in love with the Zweihander, though it's not a strength-based weapon. It's more of a quality, like a strength-leaning quality weapon. And I think, what was it? C and a D? Yeah. You're not really getting crazy strength damage off of it, but you're doing gain pretty decent damage off of it. But other weapons of note, which I found fun. The Magic Mask Non Great Sword, which was pretty cool. Um, the Raw Sword of Moonlight, which I wanted to change to a Magic Sword of Moonlight. Uh, Moonlight Great Sword, but I ran out of faint stones. So we just threw Raw on there. I did rock the Great Sword for a good while until we get the Zwei and that got replaced. And I have a love hate relationship with the Great Sword. It does good damage, but I just don't like the two handed moveset with it. The Magic King's Ultra Great Sword, which I thought was good, but I feel it does better on a pure strength build. Just saying. And then our alternative damage, our Fire Grey Club, which fire, uh, pyromancies or fire damage does scale pretty good with intelligence. It works better if you have a little balance with uh, more faith, but I thought it did fine the way it was. The Magic Dragon Tooth plus five, which I think the Dragon Tooth is one of the best strength weapons in the game. It's really, really, really good. And with the Magic damage, it made it just a whole bunch better buffing it made it super strong as well and then for our catalysts we had the sorcerer's staff 10 i don't know why i'm saying the plus 10 sorcerer's staff which did a good job for a very long time until we got the staff of wisdom which was literally good with every single one of our sorceries and it blew the sorcerer's staff out of the water um, for our armor set, we rock the Drake Blood with the King's Crown. This is actually the King's Crown I actually kind of like. This is the Ultra King's Crown, too, after you beat all the, get all the crowns in the DLC. But I also rock the um, Ferrum set. And, oh, wait, hold on. Let's go to the armor. I rock the Ferrum set for a while. And the armor of Aurus, if I'm saying that right don't know if I am but those are the other two sets I wore as well I thought they both had good style but I didn't want to rock out the Ferrum armor because the last playthrough of my strength build had the, ended up with the Ferrum set anyway um, for our rings the third dragon ring for our extra vigor stamina and equip load clan three ring plus one because we love the stamina regeneration. And we didn't have that much stamina, so it worked out for us. Ring of Blade plus one for the extra physical attack damage. And the Soldier's Ring of plus one for more equip load. And now you can switch out the Ring of Blades plus one with the Sorcery Clutch Ring. I think that worked out really well. And I think you can work, switch out the Third Dragon Ring with the Ring of the Embedded, because it does the same thing as the... Um, Goondir's Chain from Dark Souls 3. But this is, these are the things I rocked, so which is pretty pretty solid. Um, our consumables, 
as you can see, we have our Estus. We have our Aged Feather. We have Wilted Outscribs to replenish our stat, our stats, our magic spells with, with our one crystal magic weapon that was, that was being used. And repair powders because this game has durability, weapon durability issues. Um, for our spells, as you can see, we can go with the spell slots, but we can look at what we have set up to be easier. So, great magic weapon, obviously, for just having the more amount, of, the more uses of it. And then, crystal magic weapon was our main source of damage, eating spell replenishment items as we go. Um, soul spear was good, and I switched it out with great soul arrow as well, but soul spear actually did was the damage maker and i thought it was appropriate to have soul great sword on this just because it kind of accompanies like a strength intelligence spell pretty well you can have that offsetting attack where people come in slam them like you keep attacking them maybe they maybe they get a little too confident hit him with the soul great sword shazam you know what i mean and that's that thought process there but like i said it was all right not my favorite build. If you are looking to do a strength build, I'd say a um, straight up strength build or a pure strength build would be better. I feel like it has a little more pop. But if you do like intelligence and you do like melee builds, this might be right up your alley. But at the same time, I don't know. I haven't done a strength faith build yet, so I can't really say what's better out of the number. I thought, oh, I did a uh, strength like, Dark Magic build, which was really good, was better than this, but I also had a little more variety with it, too. I don't know, I think this game lends to Hexes and Dark Sorceries and Dark Miracles a little better. <laughs> but, overall, I'd say if you're into Strength Intelligence, or just, like, an Intelligence Melee build, I'd say go for it. If you want to do a Strength build or something different, I don't know, this might not be the best. I feel Pure Strength build has a little more pop. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you later. Peace out.